Bears Club is one of my favorite restaurants in Australia and I'm not even just saying that. I have been coming here for years and years because I love how it looks. It's so beautiful and there is so much character. When the owners um, were looking for a refresh and they asked me, I just freaked out. I was like, no, because I love already how it looks. When they explained to me how they wanted it to feel like you've stepped into another world, I was like, okay, we can do this. It's going to be so beautiful once it's all finished in about two weeks time. Thank you so much for your beautiful words of support. The boys have just been finishing off the plaster work. First coat of effect paint has gone on. They're wanting to really give it depth, so it will take a few layers. I'm going to be showing you um, some sneak peeks and then there will be an amazing reveal in about two weeks. to see how it all comes together. There's quite a bit of, of tiling and, um, and grouting and painting. So uh, I think we'll be here till uh, midnight, all hours of the morning, getting this ready. I've got these terracotta pots today, but they were really green. What I'm doing is I'm whitewashing them. And this is how you do it. So you get this Dulux texture paint, which is my favorite paint. And you get a rag. There's, I'm talking to everybody about painting a pot and then you just wipe it on, wipe on the layers and that will turn terracotta into whitewash. A oh, good job. That is how you do it, yes. So good London. they really wanted the place to feel warm and cozy and earthy just like when the fireplace is in here. Now, the fireplace isn't here in summer. In order to have that warm cozy earthy atmosphere in the space we really had to create that with paint. Behind me is an amazing texture paint that has been applied onto the walls by sponge. This took a week and four coats of hand sponging the entire restaurant. So the effect is designed to look like it's been here for years. I just love the feeling that it gives when you walk into the space and you suddenly feel like you're in Morocco. That's how I visualize this space and that is what we've done. These shutters were previously in the restaurant in like a bright green. What we did was we used a texture paint to lime wash the shutters and then we used a gold hammered metal paint in the middle, it was actually black. And by using gold it really softens the space and it ties in with the beautiful um, decor that we've done. If it remained black it would be way too heavy and way too dark. So I complemented it with cowbell and some little decor pieces. These poles were previously PVC pipes covered in rope. 
they are a real focal point in this restaurant when you walk in. And in order to give it that real Moroccan look, they rebuilt a timber structure a square column around this and then it was tiled with terracotta tile. The secret to getting them looking whitewashed like this, when the boys were applying the grout, I actually got a sponge and I started to rub the grout all over the tiles. Everybody was like, what are you doing? That is what gives it that whitewash look and it makes it look like it's been there forever. A little tip with these columns is to seal the terracotta with a water-based paving sealer before you actually grout it. What will happen is if you actually put the grout on top of an exposed terracotta tile, it will darken it. But because we sealed it first with a water-based sealer, when we applied the grout, it stayed nice and whitewashed. son and while we were renovating and transforming the mess club he actually came over one night and started painting these pots. They were terracotta pots and he just started to whitewash them with the Tuscan texture wall paint. And that's what gave it that really beautiful whitewash effect and then as it started to dry I just got a sponge and I, I rubbed some of the brush strokes so that it really gave it a, an old vintage whitewash look. I don't know what it is why I'm doing this hand thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've had three coffees today, so that's probably why. <laughs> So this is the amazing upstairs area. There are two levels. There is the downstairs and the upstairs. What I wanted to do was create two different experiences. Downstairs is like bright and vibrant and you know it's, it's earthy and cozy but it's a happy vibe. And then upstairs is like that moody, atmospheric, warm and intimate, cozy vibe. And I've gone a little darker upstairs, stain the tables darker, the pendant lights are a little bit darker and the decor. It has a lot more darker tones in it. I'm actually the crazy branch lady and I'm not even gonna like avoid the fact that I am because it's free. How I style cushions is I go for one plane, one pattern and one texture. I'm gonna rearrange this space to show you how the cushions are meant to go. When I designed this space, there were certain pieces that had to stay here, like the shutters behind me and the amazing roof. To keep those foundations from not looking unusual, I had to tie it together with my ratio. 70, 20, 10. Now 70% of upstairs is earthy and neutral and rustic and beautiful. 20% white, which are the shutters behind me and the ceiling above. And then there's 10% dark. So the dark accents are the cushions, the lighting fixtures, the decor, and that's 10% of the equation. And that's what really creates balance in the space upstairs. in the whole world to work with. They're by Edie Lifestyle. Why I love them is because they have about three to four different sizes that you can play around with. These are the biggest ones, 60 by 60. And the reason I chose such big sizes was because I wanted people to flop into them. So there you have it guys. Thank you for coming on the tour of the Mez Club with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you love what you see, remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up button, and send me a comment so I know you've watched my video. Stay tuned for more for all things design, styling, and lifestyle. See ya!